This is joint work with Anand Savant and Amit Hogari. Um, so yeah, uh, I, actually, before I go any further, I should uh, uh, add a bit of a disclaimer. So in my uh, in my abstract, I have said uh, that I will apply uh, some results to to norm varieties. Uh, but uh, 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 what happened is that uh, just shortly, a, a little while ago, we 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 came across uh, some gap in the proof uh, where we apply the result uh, to norm varieties. So I will not talk about norm varieties, but uh, I will talk about uh, the the uh, other results that we have, and I, I hope that it will uh, still be of some interest. Um, so the main result, which uh, uh, which perhaps I should make, uh, so uh, so the main result that I would like to prove is the following. So uh, so let's say that K is a field, and uh, let X be a smooth and smooth uh, proper variety over k. So now uh, uh, we assume that, uh, so yeah, x is, x is A1 connected. Uh, then, uh, and let's say that n uh, greater than or equal to zero, an integer sorry, uh, maybe strictly greater than zero. It's a positive integer. Um, uh, then uh, I want to prove two things. One is that uh, the symmetric power uh, is even connected. And uh, secondly, um, I want to prove that any smooth model Of uh, of this is even connected. Um, so uh, here I don't. Uh, for the first part, I don't really need much uh, restrictions on the field. But for the second one, I will assume that k uh, is uh, characteristic zero and uh, algebraically closed. So uh, I mean. Uh, so about these restrictions, so the algebraically closed part, uh, it may not be particularly essential. It may, it may just be part of um, us being lazy about it. But uh, this bit is, uh, this is basically because we use resolution of singularities. Uh, but for the first, I, I, I don't need anything. So uh, I will, uh, let me first uh, recall some basic facts uh, about even connectedness, uh, which sorry, I will Richard. use. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, may I ask you a question? Yeah. What what do I mean by a smooth model? Huh, so it's just uh, some some smooth some variety which is smooth and uh, smooth and birational to this. Okay, birational. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So uh, okay. So um, yeah. So let me just recall some basic facts. Uh, so one is that um, so this one is is due to Morel that. Uh, when it comes to A1 connectedness, uh, so X is A1 connected if and only if, uh, if and only if, uh, so basically you only need to check this uh, if and only if pi naught A1 of X of F is equal to a point for any uh, finitely generated field extension f over k. So you only need to check uh, this for field value points. Um, so, uh, I mean, in, in general, pi naught a1 would not be uh, something you can completely understand by just looking at field value points. But, but if it is even connected, this happens to be the case. And uh, so just a comment on this is that uh, this, uh, this proof uh, crucially uh, uses uh, Gabber's presentation lemma.
So um, maybe at the end, I will make uh, another uh, a few comments about this. Um, and uh, another uh, easy thing, uh, which, uh, so this is due to Ashok and uh, Morel, uh, that if X is a proper variety, then uh, for any uh, field extension f over k, uh, two points x and y in x of f are, uh, so, th th so these two points map to the same element of uh, map to uh, the same element of uh, pi naught a1 uh, x of f, uh, if and only if uh, there is a, uh, they can be connected by uh, by a chain of events, by a chain of uh, of naive A1 homotopies. So by, by naive A1 homotopies, I mean, uh, uh, these are morphisms from A1F to, to X, okay? So uh, again, this is, uh, so for this thing, uh, the properness is, is very important. Uh, so th there is, I mean, one can uh, generalize this a little bit. Uh, so uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that uh, later, uh, but uh, uh, this is, these are the two things which I will use. Okay, so uh, now let me uh, get uh, to the main, uh, tool that I will I will use. Uh, so uh, there is a so the criterion that I'm I'm going to prove for uh, even connectedness. It's actually very very uh, simple. It's it involves only um, most of it is just elementary algebraic geometry. Uh, so I, I I will first only state it for for smooth varieties because uh, then it's uh, a little less cluttered. The proof is a little less cluttered, and then after that I will just just state the the general version. So here is the result uh, that, uh, so here K is a field. I, I don't really uh, require anything else. And X is a smooth variety over K. Uh, then uh, let, let eta from KX so uh, this, this, by this, I mean the, the uh, field of uh, rational functions on X, this to this uh, be the generic point. Uh, generic point of X and uh, let uh, X naught be a point of X of K. So first I, I am assuming that there are K rational points. And uh, then X is even connected if and only if uh, eta and X naught map to the same element of uh, pi naught uh, a1 of x of kx okay uh, so of course x naught is a is a k valued point but k injects into kx and so i can uh, look at the image of x naught in in this set uh, eta obviously maps into this and they have to be mapping to the same thing so i'm just saying that uh, in in the uh, so eta and x naught are, are even homotopic. So um, 
of course this is uh, some uh, this is a somewhat abstract statement because uh, i'm not placing any restriction on x uh, but uh, so um, if x is proper Uh, the hypothesis just means that uh, there is a morphism that exists, uh, a morphism A1 of Kx to X connecting eta and X naught. So that is because of uh, this the second basic fact which I talked about. Um, so um, and this Could is what be a chain of a ones. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. So there uh, there exists um, uh, yeah uh, there exists um, a chain. Okay. Of yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, Okay, so uh, the point here is that you don't really care need to care about any other points. You only need to care about uh, the generic point. Uh, so, I mean, the idea of the proof is is that, um, of course, if if you can connect eta to x naught, then obviously there is a whole open subset of x which you can drag to x naught. So then you have to worry about the points which are outside. And uh, then um, you just do, do a little bit of trickery uh, for that. And that, that's the basic idea of the proof. So uh, let me uh, just, um, uh, yeah, let me uh, just set up a little notation. So L A1, uh, this is the uh, usual A1 fibrant replacement functor. Okay, um, and uh, so uh, I will read. Uh, so I will. I, I, I basically want to work with uh, the A one fibrant replacement of X. So I will write it as this script X. So this is equal to L A one of of the variety X. So I, I hope maybe I'll put this over here. So I hope this is not too confusing. So this is yeah. Does A1 include Nisnevich local? When you say uh, L, uh, is this guy Nisnevich? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't understand the question. Uh, does A1 for you, A1 fibrant include that it's Nisnevich local or something like that? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I mean that, uh, so I'm, I'm basically using the, um, uh, you know, the, the Model category of uh, uh, you know in the uh, paper by Morel and Wojewski where yeah. you just uh, uh, you take the locally injective model structure and you just take the boost field localization. Okay. So in that uh, is, is that okay? Yes, yes. I only asked about notation because people use different yeah, yeah. notations. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, so uh, now uh, I, I okay. So now uh, I, I only need to work with uh, the field value points. And uh, so we will show that for any point x of x, uh, the points uh, x and x naught, the, the images of uh, x and x naught in uh, in, in pi naught a1 of x, which is basically the same as pi naught of, so this is just a simplicial pi naught of, of this. Uh, okay, sorry, I should have, uh, I should write the field also. So let me, uh, so in, in pi naught a1 of x of, uh, of, so kappa x, so kappa x is the residue field of x. Um, this um, uh, is, which is the same as pi naught a1 of, uh, uh, of uh, sorry, not pi naught a1, it's just pi naught of, uh, of this kappa x. 
Okay, so this is what we want to prove. Uh, so obviously, as, so as I said, uh, we, we already know this. This for eta. And uh, so there exists uh, an open subset. So there exists an open U in X uh, such that, so there are two maps uh, that I want to write. So there is U, so U is contained in X and uh, that goes to uh, script X. So this and then I can talk about another map. So the U goes to a spec of K, which just via X naught goes to X to this. These are, uh, these are uh, simply Shilly homotopic. Okay, uh, so basically uh, every point in U is already being dragged uh, to X naught. So if, if U is equal to X, then we are done. And if not, let, uh, so I, I, I will, so now I just want to show you how uh, we will take care of the of the remaining points, uh, basically one one at a time, uh, almost. So we we let Z be uh, an irreducible component of X minus U, and let let little Z be the generic point. Of, of, of Z. Okay, so now I want to just see how I can uh, take care of little Z as well. Once I take care of little Z, um, it will bring along with it um, an open subset of Z. And so basically you keep going like this. Uh, so that, that's the idea. So I, I just need to show you how to take care of this. Uh, so um, what the thing is that as X is smooth, Uh, yeah, so notice that, uh, I mean, Z is, Z is not the generic point of, of, of X, okay? Uh, so uh, uh, that's why the next statement will make sense. Uh, there exists uh, a, uh, a curve, a smooth curve, smooth uh, kappa Z curve uh, C and a, and a point Uh, C naught in uh, C of kappa Z along with a morphism um, gamma from C C naught to uh, X Z uh, such that Uh, gamma of C naught is equal to Z and the image of gamma is, is not contained uh, in uh, the closure, uh, well, in, in capital Z, which is equal to little Z closure. Okay, so, I mean, this is not a particularly deep statement. Um, I mean, you basically just, uh, you could just pick a, a curve, which is uh, actually sitting inside uh, X for this. I mean, I'm just saying that there is a curve which, which comes out of the closure of, of capital Z. And, and this, uh, this may not always happen for certain varieties, but for, for I mean, uh, it's, it's, it, it's going to, I mean, there are some examples, but for most of the time you, you will have this, you don't really need smooth, but uh, for smooth things, obviously uh, this, is, this is there. Okay, so uh, now, uh, so now, so, uh, 
uh, gamma, uh, so gamma of C. Um, so the image of uh, image of gamma actually meets you. It's not equal to empty. Okay, so let W be the inverse image of U. This is an open subset of C. Okay, so now what is the point of this? Uh, so the idea is that um, I, I, I may not have, uh, you know, a, a rational curve connecting Z uh, to X naught, but I hope to uh, come up with, uh, with, with some kind of a uh, alternative. Uh, so what I will do is I will uh, actually take a Nisnevich cover of a of uh, uh, of a uh, of little z, and uh, then I will use that to define a morphism of uh, a one uh, into uh, not into x but into into script x. Okay, so that that is the idea. Uh, so uh, now I'm going to construct. So let uh, let uh, just for notational reasons uh, let l equal to uh, kappa z. We will construct a Nisnevich cover of A1L. Uh, so the idea is that so here V1 is uh, going to cover uh, zero. So uh, let V1 uh, be equal to uh, W uh, union the point C naught. So um, choose, choose um, a, a morphism, an anethal morphism uh, F1 from uh, C to A1L uh, mapping uh, mapping C naught to uh, to zero, uh, so shrink shrink V one if necessary. Uh, so without without removing uh, C naught, of course. Uh, so I mean, you may have to shrink it if if you have to choose uh, such an ethal map, uh, but that's okay. And so uh, the idea is that uh, uh, this will cover the cover zero. And uh, V2 uh, is uh, just a, a, A1L minus zero. And F2 from uh, V2 to A1L is the inclusion. Okay, so, uh, so uh, uh, Fi from Vi to A1L, uh, where I equal to one, two, this is an Isnevich cover. And I will use this to, to define uh, amorphism. Okay, so now uh, let me actually define the maps. So let um, H1 from, uh, uh, let H1 from V1 to uh, script X, be uh, the map. Uh, so well, what do you have? We have V1 is sitting inside C and then C is being mapped to X uh, by, by my gamma and this is being mapped to script X. So this is uh, sort of the obvious map and uh, let H2 from V2 to X uh, be uh, the map um, well, which which goes from B two to uh, spec K to uh, X naught to X. So H one and H two the, they don't actually patch together, but they do patch uh, up to homotopy. Uh, that's the idea. So uh, uh, as as H one maps uh, maps W 
into uh, yeah so uh, observe that uh, sorry w i didn't say what w is so uh, let uh, let w equal to v1 uh, cross a1 l v2 uh, so this is actually uh, which is which is um, okay maybe i should say uh, so uh, w to to v1 is an open immersion so because v2 to a1l is an open immersion okay so uh, so as h1 maps w into u uh, we see that h1 restricted to w and h2 restricted to w are simplicially homotopic okay and uh, so then the idea is that we can now move this uh, till it matches up with this and uh, since this is an elementary nesnevich cover i i only need to check this patching between v1 and v2 i don't really need to care about uh, uh, you know the the fiber product of v1 with itself over a1l uh, so which is what elementary covers are for so um, as uh, so uh okay so let me write this out explicitly now uh, we have this diagram so there is um, this point into x of v1 uh and x of uh, w and uh delta 1 and and this and so i have this kind of diagram and basically i i just want so i have uh i i want to x i have homotopy of of w so, uh sorry this should have all been script x so i have a homotopy of w in here uh and i want to extend it to a homotopy of this so this can be done as uh base as w is actually um, uh, w mapping into v1 is is a uh, is a monomorphism so w uh, to v1 is a monomorphism so uh, script and this uh, this is this is a fibrant object okay so it's it's a simplicially fibrant object as well so uh, x v1 uh, to x w uh, is a fibrant map of simplicial sets so the lift exists so this is just our usual um, homotopy extension property of cofibration so this is the cofibration to which i am applying it and uh, so uh, we may modify h1 by a uh, uh, simplicial homotopy to get h1 prime from v1 to x such that uh h1 prime and h2 uh actually give uh a1 l2 x okay uh and and so uh this shows so this shows that uh z can be connected to x not and so uh, as i said once once z is connected uh, there is an open subset of capital z around around this generic point 
which which comes with it and so um, so so there is a an open subset z1 of z uh, which can be uh, uh, well connected to x naught and uh, u uh, and uh, u union z1 uh, is uh, open okay and so then um, if 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 this is uh, uh, so if if u uh, union z1 is equal to x we are done uh, else continue so this is this is basically it um, so you keep doing this until until you exhaust the entire uh, variety uh, yeah so that's the proof of this and so we observe that uh, i mean the smoothness was used in a very small place and uh, so just to um, say how uh, i mean there's a minor improvement that you uh, that i will just state uh, for of this uh, which just talks about where uh, to what extent i have used the smoothness uh, so here's uh, okay here's a small definition Uh, so a point, uh, point X of a scheme capital X uh, is is said to be is uh, movable uh, if there exists a smooth curve, as as I had uh, used in that proof, uh, a smooth. Irreducible curve C uh, over kappa x and some point C naught in uh, C of kappa x uh, and and a morphism um, yeah, uh, okay so maybe. So I have, maybe I should list up. So this is I have this and C naught in uh, C of kappa x, and finally uh, gamma from uh, from uh, C comma C naught to x comma x, such that uh, gamma of C naught equal to x and uh, uh, the image of gamma is not contained uh, in the closure of X. Okay, so this is a fairly mild condition. And uh, so I, I will show um, a situation where, where this, is, this doesn't hold and so we are not able to use uh, such a criterion. So then, okay, so what is, uh, so the, I'll just state the generalization. So the, the proof is exactly the same because it's a very uh, trivial generalization, really, that uh, X uh, is uh, a variety over K. And uh, uh, suppose uh, X naught is in X of K. Uh, suppose that, um, and suppose that uh, for any point X, uh, one of the following holds. So one is that it's movable or, uh, okay. So the first thing is that it's, I, that I don't need to worry about the point that uh, X, the closure of this contains x naught uh, and uh, and x x naught uh, have the same image. A 
in uh, in pi naught a one. Of, uh, of well of x uh, of x or uh, that x is movable and if these conditions hold then by by the above proof x is even connected so this may seem like a somewhat made up thing and and, and it, i mean it, it's not a very neatly stated thing i suppose but um, i mean it, it was one way of just capturing the essential ideas and uh, this is what uh, you end up doing uh, for uh, when you talk about the symmetric power of uh, of a smooth uh, uh, a, a, of an even connected uh, variety um, the, the thing is that uh, uh, I mean, you will connect the generic point uh, to a k-valued point, and then there are some other points. So basically, the points that are in the diagonals, uh, they will satisfy criterion one. Anyway, I, I will come to that. Uh, but uh, before I get to that, let me just talk about uh, uh, some uh, something like where uh, this criterion fails, because uh, that shows how uh, this movability thing is is somewhat essential. Uh, so, example. Or maybe I should say non-example uh, is that you consider uh, the uh, so consider the cubic uh, y square uh, minus uh, y square plus x square minus x cube over uh, over r. Okay, so the thing is that this is a uh, this has a singularity at at uh, this has got a node at the origin, uh, so it's a rational uh, curve. Okay, so this is a rational curve. And so it's a generic point. Can be connected to um, um, to uh, uh, an R point, R rational point. So, however, the point zero zero, however, zero zero. Um, so basically, there is not going to be any. Um, uh, um, any curve defined over R, which is which is coming out of it, because is is a uh, is an isolated uh, real point. And so it is not movable. Um, Actually, uh, maybe I should say uh, not uh, quite this, um, the projective closure of this. Okay, so the reason why I'm, I'm saying projective closure is that uh, of, uh, is that uh, uh, now the point is that if this were even connected, then zero, zero should be connect, I should be able to con connect this point to, uh, the other uh, real points by uh, by uh, just a morphism from a and r, but there is not going to be any such thing. Okay, so this shows uh, this uh, this uh, show, uh, so thus the criterion fails. Thus, um, this is not even connected. Even though the generic point can be connected to a rational point. Okay, uh, yeah. So that's basically uh, the the criterion I wanted to talk about. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. What happens to the normalization of this curve? I mean, why doesn't does it? 
No, so uh, okay, so suppose I had, uh, of course, the normalization will have two complex points over zero. zero. Ah, okay, two, two complex points. That's right. the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you need so, the rational. I mean, this one. zero zero is sort yeah. of an accidental uh, real point. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Okay. So uh, okay, so now uh, okay, let me just show you the the trivial uh, application of of all this, which is that uh, so so theorem. Uh, that uh, the symmetric uh, power of of uh, of an even connected variety is uh, is even connected. Uh, okay, just give me a moment. So uh, here, um, uh, let X. be uh, a smooth, uh, well, not a smooth, uh, be, a, uh, be an even, uh, be a proper even connected variety over, uh, over K, then, um, Um, yeah, actually, um, okay, let me be just, uh, yeah, I think this uh, is okay. Uh, okay, let me just add in smooth because there is one issue. So, okay, then uh, the symmetric power of X is, uh, is A1 connected. And so the idea is that it's it's not difficult to connect uh, the generic point of this to a k rational point, uh, but then what uh, what is uh, so then you have to worry about uh, the, the the points which are uh, which are not smooth. So you have to worry about uh, you know the points that are on the images of the of the diagonals. Uh, but then the trick is that. If you just look at those images, they are really just products of of, uh, of symmetric spaces with with lower n. So then the proof basically goes through by by induction uh, on n. Okay, so so proof. Uh, so uh, what you do is um, so first of all, let me just talk about how you connect. Uh, the generic point uh, to a k rational point that is actually quite quite straightforward uh, so let let k equal to uh, uh, k of of x and uh, let uh, uh, so let uh, let eta equal to uh, generic point of of x and uh, let uh, e uh, equal to uh, k of of x to the m. Uh, so uh, then uh, and and let l uh, equal to uh, the, uh, the this uh, k of uh, the symmetric power of x. So now the point is that uh, I actually have uh, an action of the symmetric group on E and the quotient uh, and, and uh, uh, well on the spectrum of E and the quotient is exactly spec L and this is what uh, will allow me to uh, to connect uh, the generic point of, uh, of, of this to a K rational point. So just a little bit of notation first though uh, that uh, observe that uh, so spec of um, sorry k so k tensor m is uh, an integral domain and uh, we will denote its uh, generic point um, okay so uh, so yeah so the, actually more generally let me just say that uh, let uh, let f be 
uh, the any field extension of K uh, in which K is algebraically closed. Uh, then uh, let uh, let uh, p to the n let p uh, um, be a point spec f to x. Then uh, if f prime uh, equal to uh, the function field. Of uh, of um, f tensor m, then uh, sorry, the field of I, sh I should have, okay I should have said field of fractions. Uh, then uh, p to the m from. Uh, uh, so p to the m uh, denotes the point uh, spec. So the obvious point spec f prime uh, to um, uh, to x to the m. Okay, uh, so this is the notation that I will follow. Uh, so then the point is that uh, if I have uh, this kind of situation, and uh, then if uh, if P Q, P and Q, these are points in. Uh, so let me see. So in in X of K. Okay, so then uh, and uh, and and phi one and yeah phi from p one of k to uh, x uh, is uh, is a morphism. Uh, connecting um, well, uh, uh, so. Uh, I hope this is clear. So phi of zero, um, okay, maybe I should write phi of zero colon one. This is equal to um, P and uh, phi of uh, one, one is equal to Q. Uh, so if I have such a thing, then uh, there exists uh, a morphism Uh, uh, say psi from P1 of L. So let me just remind you, L is the uh, uh, the function field of the symmetric product, which is uh, so we, which is what you will get if you go take the quotient of the action of the symmet uh, the symmetric group on this. So this uh, two uh, sim m x. Uh, connecting uh, the images of P to the M and Q to the M in the symmetric product. So it's the sort of the obvious thing that that uh, uh, that one can think of. Uh, but I mean, the point is that why, why does this work? So this works because uh, you have uh, so 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 this works because uh, this is because uh, if you look at P one L uh, and then to the power m, and then the symmetric group acts on this uh, and then you have P1 uh, K to the M and the symmetric group acts on this also. Uh, 
so and then you have um, uh, spec e. So the thing is that this is actually uh, uh, this is SM uh, equivariant. Okay, so the the action is basically something that you can just capture in terms of of k, uh, and so uh, now uh, so uh, if you just look at uh, uh, this map, so uh, phi uh, to the m from p one uh, l to the m into x to the m gives us uh, gives uh, us uh, a map uh, from the uh, so will gives us uh, p1 uh, p1 e uh, one second so uh, yeah p1 e into uh, into x to the into x um, Sorry, one second. P one. Uh, I should write like this. Okay, and then taking the uh, action of of SM. Uh, so this gives. Uh, so taking the diagonal, okay, so this is sort of the obvious thing, but uh, now the question is, uh, so what about, uh, so uh, the the smooth the points in sim m x which uh, are in the image of uh, the free locus of the action of uh, of SM on X to the M are, are smooth. Hence movable. But uh, so it remains, it remains to look at the images of the diagonals. So, but then uh, if you just uh, look at the diagonals, uh, you, you see that uh, the diagonals, so I, I will not write this out in, in too much detail because it's sort of elementary, uh, but the, di the images of the diagonals of, uh, and by diagonals, I mean basically all the partial things. So you just set say a bunch of coordinates to be equal and I call that a diagonal in X to the M. Uh, so of the diagonals are our products of of uh, sim uh, l uh, x of 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 various such uh, of of uh, such factors uh, for lower values for uh, for lower values of n of l uh, okay so okay what i'm sorry I, sh I shouldn't say that uh, what i mean is um, so the, uh, our products uh, of of the form uh, product uh, sim lambda i x where lambda i is it's less than m so the proof then can be done by induction so uh, the and the, the result can be proved by induction. OK, 
Okay, so this is um, somewhat, uh, this is the easy part. Uh, so for, um, so here, I mean, this is largely the reason why I, I phrased this result like this. So for, for the diagonals, I'm using part one and for the points in the free locus, I'm using this. Um, okay, uh, so now let me just uh, sketch uh, the proof of the, uh, of, of the harder part of the result. Uh, so the second part, uh, part of the main result that I had talked about was as follows. So K is now uh, characteristic zero, algebraically closed and uh, X uh, smooth, uh, proper, A1 connected over X, uh, over K, then uh, uh, any, uh, uh, any uh, desingularization of this is going to be uh, uh, any smooth proper variety Uh, by rational to uh, to this thing is even connected. So uh, here, I mean, one one part of the complication is gone. So here, I mean, I had to worry about what is happening to the uh, to the points which are not smooth. But here, everything is smooth. So uh, all points are smooth. And hence movable, and and so uh, every point except the generic point is is movable. Okay, so um, so I I only need to uh, think about what what to do with the uh, with the generic point. Uh, for such a variety. Um, so the generic point of, of uh, uh, sim m uh, x can be connected. So, okay, so let me say, uh, say x naught uh, is in X of K, I, this is, um, so there is at least one point because X is even connected and uh, say eta uh, generic point of X. Uh, so the generic point of uh, this thing is the image, is the image of uh, of say eta to the m and uh, so this can be connected uh, so okay let me call this um, so okay I should give this some name uh, let me just uh, check my notes so what am I calling it uh, yeah so generic point uh, let me say theta of this so theta then theta can be connected to uh, x naught to the m uh, using the same idea as before. Same method as above. But the problem is, however, uh, x naught uh, to the power m may not be a smooth point. In fact, it's sitting inside all the diagonals, right? So um, that that is that is the problem actually. So you may, uh, I mean, you may you may choose some desingularization of this, and then uh, you know you have got uh, so okay. We are in the proper setting, so you have some uh, chain of a ones, 
defined over over theta, uh, which are connect uh, connecting theta to x naught to the power m, and these curves maybe you will even lift uh, to your desingularization. But uh, I mean the curve may not end with this, right? Uh, so ultimately, I mean uh, the lifts of your curves may not be connecting to this. Uh, another issue is that. Uh, suppose you have a chain of of uh, uh, of uh, rational curves defined over theta. Uh, the nodes where they so the points where they meet. So let me call them as the, as the nodes in the chain. Uh, so these nodes uh, may uh, not be in the uh, in the smooth locus. So when you when you desingularize, uh, those may have come apart, right? So these are the things that you have to worry about. Uh, so um, so problem. So there are two problems. One is that the nodes of the chain of the chain connecting uh, connecting theta to x naught to the power m may lie in singular locus. And then, and so, uh, may come apart in uh, in some uh, smooth model. Okay. Uh, yeah. So one thing I should have said, perhaps, that um, actually, um, you know, uh, the the. I'm talking about any smooth proper variety birational to this. Uh, actually, it suffices to prove this for a particular smooth proper variety birational to this. Because if I if I've got two uh, uh, smooth models of of this thing, then using weak factorization, I can connect them by you know blow ups and blow downs at at, uh, at such things. And uh, the thing is that as far as a one connectedness is concerned, that is preserved under blow ups. Um, of, of, uh, well, at least at least for smooth varieties. If a smooth variety is even connected, and I and I blow it up at some smooth locus, uh, the blow up continues to be even connected. Okay, so uh, then I can just use weak factorization, and so it it's enough to focus on one particular smooth model. Anyway, so I have not specified my smooth model, but uh, so this is a problem that can arise, and the second problem that can arise is that uh, uh, the the last uh, so uh, so if we take uh, the the last curve in the chain in the chain uh, will connect will end in some point x not uh, so okay so let me call it x not tilde um, um, okay um, let okay so it just let me just call it that uh, for now okay let me not call, let me give it some funny name uh, some point lying over 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 x not x not to the m but this point may not be but this point may not be k rational so we need uh, to do a couple of tricks uh, to fix these issues. Uh, so one thing uh, to observe is that, uh, you know, I, I want to keep my chain, uh, uh, for, you know, uh, so for the first problem, okay, so this for this part of the problem, uh, I would like the nodes of the chain to be sitting inside um, uh, the free locus, but that's actually not very difficult. Uh, see, the thing is that um, I have, uh, I have this the image of eta eta to the m, uh, so I'm I'm uh, so okay. So what I let me just explain how this is done. So we we choose we uh, to solve the first problem. We to solve the first problem. Uh, so we choose. A chain uh, connecting uh, eta uh, to the m 
2 x naught to the n. So, um, sorry, maybe I will just say eta to x naught. So then I have got this kind of situation. So eta is equal to say um, y y n y n. Uh, this gets connected to y n minus one. This gets connected to uh, something and so on. And then finally I have y one, and this gets connected to y naught, which is my x naught. Okay. Now the thing is uh, we can ensure we uh, choose this. So that x naught is the first uh, dimension zero point in the chain in, in this sequence. So this is partly where uh, my assumption that that the base field is algebraically closed is useful. I don't need to worry about algebraic extensions of k. Uh, that's as I said is basically just us being a little lazy maybe there is a way to uh, get around it uh, but anyway this was uh, th there is some trickery that we have to do here anyway so now the point is that so so uh, in x to the m we have the chain uh, eta to the m which is equal to say uh, my y n to the m. Uh, so this gets connected to y n minus one to the m and so on. y n minus one to the m and so on up to y one to the m uh, to y naught to the m equal to x to the m, x naught to the m. So notice that, so for, for i greater than zero, y i uh, is a point of positive dimension. And so uh, the point y i to the m is, is not going to sit in any diagonal, is not in any diagonal. Okay, so this is, uh, so, so this takes care of part, takes care of problem one. Okay, but now I'm still, so this problem two is, is the more irritating thing that, uh, I mean, your chain is, is going, uh, is ending up in the point x naught to the m, which is sort of the only choice that you have, because I mean, you don't know how many other irrational points there might be. There may, I mean, you pick one k-rational point and x naught to the power m is, is the only choice that you can think of. Uh, now, uh, but, but, your, but, uh, but this chain, uh, once you, uh, so th this point is sitting inside, uh, the, it may be sitting inside the singular locus. So when you take the desingularization, uh, you may, the chain may be terminating in some point which is sitting on top of this, but that point may not be k-rational. So uh, the trick for that is as follows, to solve The second problem so the idea is that you you actually modify your x to begin with okay which you are allowed to do because you ultimately just want something that is birational to uh, uh, to to the symmetric product so i i could replace x by something else which is birational to x so uh, we we uh, blow up x at, uh, uh, at points, uh, so at, um, so, okay, uh, successively at k rational points so um, lying over x naught. So, okay, what I mean by that is that first I'm going to blow up x naught and the next point that I blow up is also going to be sitting on top of x naught uh, and so on, okay? So uh, that this is what I mean by blowing up, successively blowing up points, uh, k-rational points lying over x naught. Uh, until we, we end up with uh, this uh, situation, until 
uh, we end up uh, with uh, um, with the, the situation. So let me, okay, let me label these curves actually. So let me uh, call this curve, um, uh, say C0 and C1 and C n minus one and so on. Okay, so, um, and so C1 um, to the, okay, this is somewhat awful, but uh, let me do it anyway, uh, Cn minus one here. Okay, so uh, uh, with the situation where the lift of the curve C uh, C one uh, C uh, C one to the m uh, terminates in a point uh, x naught. Uh, okay, so uh, actually not C naught C one to the m. I just mean uh, C one in a point x naught tilde, which is is positive dimensional. Okay, so this is something I will I will not prove in explicit detail, but because it's it's something that is sort of believable. That uh, see what is happening here is that this is the generic point, right? And then I am uh, using a rational curve to connect it to another point, and then going from that to another point, and so on, until I end up with a k-rational point, and. I'm saying my assumption is that at every point, all these points up to y1, these are all positive dimensional. So really, what I'm talking about here is that you know when I, when I take a uh, take this uh, a rational curve connecting y1 to y0, uh, you can think of this as basically a family of rational curves parametrized by by whatever uh, you know uh, y1 is a generic point of. And so there is a uh, so this rational curve really represents a bunch of rational curves which are coming together at at the at, at this k rational point. Uh, now the idea is that uh, if if you blow up x naught, then these rational curves are being being pulled apart, and uh, maybe they won't come together uh, to a single point anymore, uh, or maybe they will. In which case you blow it up again. And so what I'm claiming is that if you blow it. Uh, if you do sufficiently many blow-ups, then this will actually come apart, and so this curve, uh, you know, par which is basically a y1 curve, will end up in a point which is positive dimensional and not a k-rational point. Okay, so this is something I think it should be uh, sort of intuitively okay. Uh, it requires a little bit of proof. Uh, so I mean, we have written up the proof in, in our preprint, but uh, I don't want to uh, really go through the proof. I, I think this is quite believable. Uh, and and so once uh, once you can do this, so once you have got this point, uh, now then um, so okay so uh, so suppose so we may assume so we assume that uh, x tilde uh, to x is a blow up. Is, is the blow up at x naught. And the lift of, of C1 to, uh, to x tilde ends in x naught tilde, which is positive dimensional. Okay, and let, um, so uh, let me say, um, okay, I've already used E. Uh, so let me say, um, let, uh, let T be the exceptional divisor. So this is just a projective space and uh, it's not tilde is a point of this, um, so what we do is now we we look at we look at 
sim m of x tilde and uh, so uh, i am going to have sim m uh, of t sitting in here and this thing is is rational okay so so this is just a projective space um and there is there are some results uh, there is a result of uh, coleuthaline and uh and and sanso which uh which allow us to see that this is this is rational and uh, so uh, now the idea is that uh, x not uh tilde to the m uh, lies in the um uh, in the smooth uh, uh, so this is positive dimensional and so in the in the smooth locus of sin uh m x tilde okay and so now the now the trick is that now we want to connect uh x not uh, tilde to the m to some uh k rational point in the free locus of uh the action on 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 t to the m but this is this is easy okay because this is basically just a projective space so of course there is a little bit of trickery uh, involved here uh, so maybe i'll just say the kind of things that one has to uh, prove over here the, see the thing is that uh, if you have a rational variety a smooth rational variety uh, then uh, you want to say that uh, like like basically this one uh, then uh you want to say that if i have got a uh, if if you've got a point uh, uh, if you've got a, got an open set in it and a point outside the open set then you want to be able to connect that point uh to a point in the open set by a rational curve and and this requires a little bit of proof uh but it's it's not difficult to prove uh but uh so this is once this is done then you connect x not uh, uh to tilde to the m to uh, to such a point a k rational point and so basically you have connected uh the generic point of of the symmetric power uh by a chain whose nodes are all in the free locus and it ends up at a k rational point uh which is also in the free locus of course in this process you have had to change your x and replace it by a different model but that's that is permissible and uh, so then as a result we, uh, this is how how we get this result okay um so that that is uh that is basically what i want to say um so i think i'm sort of ready to stop uh except that i will just add a little comment uh to to this uh to these two things uh so uh uh see the thing is that um so further comments uh so you have um, so if x if uh, x is proper uh then uh we have seen that um okay let me let me just uh, put up some notation over here uh for um okay let me get rid of this and say uh let's say that uh, uh x is a sheaf of sets then uh what i can do is i can uh define an approximation to uh to pi not a1 uh, so i i define s of x is equal to uh pi not of of single over star uh a1 of of x and uh, so what this is doing is basically it is just uh, looking at uh, uh i mean as far as points are concerned so let's say field valued points are concerned what is it doing 
It's looking at, two, uh, at which points of X can be actually connected by a chain of, uh, of A1. So this, are, this is the sheaf of, sheaf of uh, chain connected components. And uh, then the thing is that, of course, this may not be the same as, as pi not A1, uh, but then, in fact, this may not even be A1 uh, invariant. So let, uh, let me just say that, let's say uh, script L of X is uh, the limit of S to the N X. Okay, so this is, uh, is A1 invariant. So this is sort of the uh, universal A1 invariant quotient of X. And uh, what you have is we have uh, from pi naught A1 of X to L of X. Okay, so you have a canonical morphism like this. Uh, this is an isomorphism if and only if uh, pi naught a1 of x uh, is A1 invariant. Okay, so this is which is of course unknown in general. So of course there are there are specific results saying when when this is true, uh, but so it, it is of interest to understand what this is, and uh, so the result so. Uh, that of Ashok and Morel that I talked about, uh, it is saying that uh, X is proper implies that uh, pi naught A1 of X uh, of F, this is equal to S of X of F uh, for all field extensions F over K. Uh, so I, I just want to talk about a small generalization of this. Uh, so in general, uh, if uh, X is a sheaf of sets, in particular, it, it can be a variety which is not proper, then uh, pi naught A1 of X of F this is isomorphic to uh, L of X of F. Uh, so this is uh, something that uh, I'm currently writing down uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, a student, Narani and uh, Anand Samut. And so the thing is that it, it's sort of like, uh, an analog of uh, of this first thing that I talked about this uh, this uh, result of Morel that if you want to ch check even connectedness then it is enough to just check it on on field valued points and and for that as I said you you use Gaba's presentation lemma uh, so it's sort of uh, I mean I was very tempted to think that maybe one can just uh, now since there are you know relative versions of of Gaba's presentation lemma uh, maybe one can use this this stuff this this result to, to prove uh, this this question whether pi not even is even invariant which is which is an open conjecture of, of morel but um, yeah it's actually not really possible to do that as far as i know yet um, it's largely because of the way gaba's presentation lemma uh, is used so yeah this, that's all i have to say about this yes thank you yeah, very much for your talk. yeah are there any questions? Okay. I have two questions. Uh, probably the answer them, both of them is negative. Uh, so may I ask you whether this uh, symmetric power operation uh, leads uh, to the whole the homotopic category? Uh, what is it? Could you repeat that? Uh, does symmetric power uh, lift to operation uh, to uh, from the uh, a one comatobic category into itself? 
Ah, so basically then, I mean, you, you're basically asking if the symmetric power operation behaves well with respect to the, uh, with the A1 fibrant connect uh, approximation functor, right? Yes, I think so. so. But I don't think that will happen. I, I don't okay. have an example in mind, but I don't think it can, that can happen. Uh, okay, uh, the related question, uh, uh, do, what about examples? Is it not the case that uh, nth power is actually n connected? Uh, the symmetric nth power is n connected. Yes. So, uh, no, this doesn't happen. Uh, oh, you're asking for higher connectivity. Is, is that yes. Or, no, I have not thought about that at all. Okay, but thank I, you. I, that also, I doubt it. <laughs> So I mean, so what is your assumption? I mean, are you assuming that X is one connected or what? Is that it? I don't know. So this, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's an interesting this, question, uh, but honestly, I have not thought about it at all. So. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it could be reasonable. I mean, yeah, that, from that could be interesting from to see, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I also have a couple of questions. Uh, yeah. First, uh, you briefly mentioned it uh, of using big factorization, but in general, suppose that you are given oh. two uh, birational proper smooth varieties, and suppose mm -hmm. that one of them is A1 connected. Uh, do okay. we know that the other one is also A1 connected? Uh, I mean, you want to do this without weak factorization? Yeah, I mean, over a general field. I, I don't know how you would do it. I mean, the only way I know of proving this is through weak factorization. Okay. So, I mean, I specifically use the result of, of Ashok Morel that, uh, you know, first of all, if it's even connected, you only look at, look at field valued points. And yes. then once you are only doing that, then it is clear that under blow ups, it, is, it's, it works fine. But otherwise, uh, I, I don't know how you would do that. I mean. Okay, yeah, me neither. Okay, so yeah, it, it could... would be great to 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 not not have to use weak factorization, but uh, uh, see in general, I mean, when it comes to blow ups, um, uh, even connectivity can go really crazy. So it's it's sort of a you know very nice thing for even connected uh, varieties that uh, under blow up this this thing works out nicely, and and, and the proof is it, I I don't know how you would do this prove this without. Uh, reducing to the fact that you can only check for field valued points. But for example, if you take something that is not even connected, like if you take a, uh, a, a smooth ruled surface okay. and, and you blow it up at a single point, uh, then uh, even connectivity becomes very, very difficult. Uh, I, I mean, uh, basically what, for, what I mean is that pi not A1 is, is not a birational invariant in general, right? So. Uh, and even to compute the pi naught even of 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 what you, of, of the blow up it, it becomes a pretty hard problem so actually there is this paper of mine and with anand uh, which talks about uh, you know looking at pi naught even of of smooth uh, uh, of uh, smooth proper uh, uh, birationally ruled surfaces yeah. and we just verify that pi naught even is even invariant but it's it's a very hard computation yeah uh, i know that uh, do you have a specific example when pi not a1 is not a birational invariant? Yeah, so uh, I just said, right, so if you take, uh, in fact, it's almost never a birational invariant. You take just p, uh, take a, a higher, a, g, a curve of genus greater than zero. Okay. And you take uh, some p1 bundle over that. Okay. And you blow it up at one point. Yeah. So the, the blow up and, and the thing below will have different pi not a1. But uh, yeah, I mean, um, uh, yeah, okay. that, that's all I have to say. <laughs> okay, yeah. But somehow, yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And, uh, wait, yeah it's uh, actually interesting to, uh, to know, uh, I mean, I, I'm very interested in the question of, uh, you know, uh, so assuming that, uh, uh, this pi not a1 is a1 invariant, then how many times do you need to iterate this to get to this? Okay, so in the examples that we know, so for example, when we work this out for birationally ruled surfaces, 
uh, if you just take uh, so s of uh, s of x is not equal to l of x but s square of x is yeah uh, now uh, if but on the other hand uh, if if x is um, uh, smooth and even connected uh, i don't know of a single example where uh, um, uh, you know you have to come, take s twice if if you if x is not smooth then then i can easily come up with an example but uh, i don't know of a single smooth even connected variety uh, such that s of x is not a point mm -hmm. and and i i yeah i i don't know basically the thing is that what what it really means geometrically for something to be even connected is is something sort of not something we really understand right i mean we, uh, we we know that retract rational implies even connected but we don't know whether these things are are equivalent or not 